Hello everyone, today I would like to share with you some new features on Mid Journey version 5. I'm talking about describe, repeat and permutation. Describe can be used by anyone for free, but permutation and repeat can be used only for standard and pro membership. One thing I would like to share with you is that I'm building this um, newsletter, this page where I'm putting together all of my articles. They are connected to the video, so for each video I always try to have an article as well, so if you prefer having a look at the article on Medium, you can do that. This is called Intelligent Art, and for now this uh, it's, it's very new, right? So for now it contains just my articles, but it would be very nice to integrate articles from other people. So if you're writing on Medium uh, about stable diffusion, DALI or Midjourney, and you would like to publish on this publication, I would be more than happy to do that. If you want to receive the newsletter, you can just follow the publication or you can follow my page. Um, it's up to you and it's completely free. Let's start with the scribe. With the describe feature, you can generate a description from an uploaded image. And from this description, you can get new terminologies, new style, which you can use to generate other pictures. You cannot generate a similar picture, but you can generate something different or with the same style or the same light or the same dimension. Once we are in the mid-journey main interface, which is this one, we can simply type describe and then we can drag and drop our picture inside this window and press enter. Now, I have a nice picture of a milkshake with a nice background and nice style and I would like to see what comes out. So I'm gonna use that, this one. And then you press enter. And this is the output. So you get four prompts where you have different descriptions Let's have a look at them. Lavanda coffee latte with whipped cream, flowers, ice, coffee, sugar, cream and lavanda in the style of smooth and curved lines. Dark yellow light purple. Dimitri Roland, UHD image, John Tenniel, Absinthe culture, Jacob Rebelka. Now, I don't know what all of these are. You can click on them and have a look. And in this case, it looks like Dimitri Roland is a photographer then it's gonna give us the dimension of the picture, which is quite useful if you want to replicate the dimension of an image and you are not sure if it's four by five or three by five or whatever. Then if we look at the others, uh, we can see that this is recurring. You have it here, you have it in the second one, you have it in the third one and then in the fourth one as well. And then something interesting you may want to use is mythical themes interesting or organic contours sfumato this is an interesting one because it's like this blended color soft now if you want to replicate these pictures obviously you cannot do that using these prompts but you can create another picture another image with the same style or maybe we want to create something like a pot with flowers and we want a similar background so we, um, we can maybe write a realistic photo of a pot with some flowers, why not? And then if we look at these, we can maybe, in the style of smooth and curved lines, I don't know if it's gonna give me something nice, but also dark yellow like purple. Let's test, right? UHD image. I want to add this uh, Dimitri Roland as well. Let's see what happens. And then, actually, we want lavender somewhere. La lavender. In the style of organic contours, mythical themes, dark amber. And then, soft blended colors, fumado. I will add this. Okay, so. As you can see, I'm trying to get some common features to all of these prompts. And then I'm getting also something unique, just to see what can happen. Now, um, I don't know what will come out from this prompt. Let's have a look together. Maybe it will be something completely different. Maybe it will be something similar. And I hope the second one, uh, but let's see. 
and this is the result and honestly I think it's working right like look at this background for example the first picture it really looks like the background in this uploaded picture which is amazing and then we can see yeah well lavender and then we can see this sort of mythological theme as well in the in the pot maybe and this violet color is almost everywhere so I'm pretty satisfied so this is how the scribe works pretty easy now let's go on and see the second feature which is the repeat feature the repeat feature allows you to run n times the same prompt it's like using the reboot button which is this one let's click and let's see what happens but with the repeat feature you can choose how many times you want to reboot the prompt so if you click this button you will generate the prompt once with the repeat feature you can choose to repeat it for four five six times and so on and so forth depending on which subscriptions you have if you have a standard membership you can repeat the same prompt between two and ten times and if you have a pro membership you can repeat it between two and forty times one thing you should know is that the repeat feature can work only with the fast mood right so i'm not surprised because if you repeat something 40 times and you are on the slow mood i don't know how long it can take so as you can see clicking this you you can repeat the prompt once right now let's use the repeat and let's use the number three so this means that the same prompt will be repeated three times let's remove this to avoid any confusion so we have the original prompt here i'm going to copy it and then i'm going to type imagine i paste the prompt and then i like the repeat feature now you can type repeat and then the number let's say three times or you can just use the r entry and then you press enter here asking you whether you actually want to repeat the prompts for three times i'm going to press yes and then it say three out of your three jobs are being processed and as you can see here it's repeating the prompt three times and it's going to generate two by two grids three times let's see what comes out so i think it's completed so we have the first prompt then we have the second prompt and then we have the third prompt okay that's it that's that's what this simply doing why this is useful and what are the downside of this feature the pro is that it saves you time if you want to create different options for the same prompt the cons is that this is not available to everyone but just to those with standard or pro subscription now let's have a look at the last features which is permutation this is the one i like the most because it allows you to generate variation of a prompt as for the repeat feature this can be run only with the fast mood and it's not available for everyone just again those with the standard or the pro subscription the permutation feature is also restricted to a max number of runs which is 10 for standard accounts and 40 for pro accounts for who knows the prefer remix feature this is uh, exactly the same but it saves you time again because you don't have to click on the variation button and change the prompt uh, every time but you can do that with just one prompt let's assume that we want to generate an image of a dog swimming but we are not sure whether we want the dog swimming in a swimming pool or in the ocean so what we can do we can create a prompt where we put the two options which are swimming pool and ocean within curly brackets divided by a comma let's have a look so we type imagine and then a realistic photo of a dog swimming in the and then we open the curly brackets and we type swimming pool or ocean and we close the bracket now if i press enter it's gonna ask me if i actually want to imagine two prompts i press yes and then it's going to generate two different prompts also in this case we have fast here because it's uh, running in the fast mood so here you go we have four images of the dog swimming in the swimming pool and here we have four pictures of the dog swimming in the ocean they are so cute 
Okay, now let's make the prompt more complicated. Let's assume that we want three different prompts. One of the dog swimming in the swimming pool, one in, of the dog swimming in the ocean, but during a sunny day, and one of the dogs swimming in the ocean, but with a rainy day. We can nest different options inside other options. You just need to pay attention how you use the brackets, that's all. So we type imagine a realistic photo of a dog swimming in the open brackets pool comma ocean and then we open the brackets again and we add sunny day comma rainy day that's it and we press enter it's gonna ask us again if we actually want to run this prompt three times and this is the result, so we have the dog in the swimming pool, the dog in the ocean during a rainy day, and then the dog in the ocean during a sunny day. Other than all of these different image characteristics, light, uh, different objects, we can use the permutation feature also for creating multiple prompts with uh, different dimensions or different mid-journey versions, uh, different styles, uh, and so on and so forth. Let's see how to do it quickly. I'm just gonna make a quick example. So a realistic photo of a dog swimming. Let's keep it simple. Oh, and then we use the AR command. Just make sure that there is a space between AR and the first bracket. And then you press enter and you should get here the square layout and here the portrait. Using the same rules, we can use different versions. So for example, imagine a realistic photo of a dog swimming. And then we can use V5 or Niji. So like that, you can test a different version of Mid Journey. So you can see here, we have the Niji version and here the more realistic version five. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the escape character. What is it? So let's assume that we want the dog to be of a certain color. We want in the first picture to be black a black dog and in the second picture to be a white and fluffy dog. So let's build the prompt together. We will type imagine a realistic photo of a dog swimming and that's fine. Now we want different options, right? So we open brackets here we add black, white and fluffy. Now, if we press enter, we'll generate three different prompts, right? So you have the black dog, the white dog, and the fluffy dog. But what we want is that fluffy and white are together. But there is this comma here, which makes white and fluffy to be two different prompts. So to make just one prompt with both characteristics for the dog, we need to use this escape character, which is just a backslash, which needs to go before the comma. So like this. We type enter and we can see here that we process two prompts only. So we have the fluffy and white dog. You can also see here in the prompt you have white and fluffy dog. And here we have the black dog. Okay, cool. So just to recap, we have seen these three different characteristics, one of which is free to everyone and this is described while the other one are accessible just to standard and pro accounts unfortunately these are very useful tool which uh, allows you to speed up your work so that's it i hope this was useful and see you at the next video bye